Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another studio equipment review and today we're going to have a look at a 15mm DSLR stabilizer. So I've got this one here from Banggood.com as most of my equipment because, you know, I'm still getting started. I just wanted to really try out cheap stuff. So this one here is $80 and the ones here in my country, they're a couple of hundred euros. And well, um, I'm still learning by doing. You see my video quality is not really the best, but I want to learn with you guys. Probably some of you also have a tech channel and I think together we can try out some nice equipment. So we're actually using that DSLR stabilizer if we are outside. So actually sometimes a, st a steady cam is better. So this one is not really a steady cam, but it really helps a lot to get some nice and clean shots if you're standing and you can really hold it very steady. So that's a really cool thing. Now you can buy it for around $80 from Banggood.com. As always, the link is down below in the description, so make sure you check it out. And now let's get started with the review and let me tell you my opinion on that product. Now guys, let's take this thing here part to have a closer look at all um, the components and there we go I hope I can do that with the focus of my camera because in 4k sometimes it really sucks then first of all we are just sliding out here the shoulder mount okay so that shoulder pad and here you can see it and it's made of some kind of foam material so it's really really soft I'm not really sure how durable that is but so far the holes here they look good so they do not wear out so far also here um, yeah it looks kind of like new but um, we're just using it now for around two and a half weeks so not so long but I will keep you updated on this one because it's actually part of our um, daily work okay then let's have a closer look here at the rails so it consists out of two rails as you can see but you can also take the rails apart so um, one rail is 24 centimeters and you have four of them then now um, let's unscrew one of the rails and let's have a look at the rail itself so um, the diameter it's 15 millimeters so a very common um, yeah, size then here you can see we also have here an, an inner thread I'm not really sure if you can see that because of the focus from the camera but um, that means you can extend it however you want to so you could also have for instance three or four or five rails on the right side but they're not included so you just get four rails and with that you can get here two rails um, which are um, 48 centimeters each okay so I will just unscrew the second one too and there we go and okay that one here is a little bit harder but um, it's still okay and the thread as I've told you is really big so you don't need to fear that it will break down all right so now we just have um, the upper half and let's zoom a little bit in to show you that Alright guys, so here's now the upper part of the video stabilizer and well, it consists now only of two rails and we have here the rail block, so this is how I call that thing. So well, um, you can also adjust um, the rail block, so the height is adjustable and you can also slide it here on the rail back and forth. Now to do that, you have to unscrew here the quick mount, so basically some screws here which you can unscrew with your bare hands, so no tools are needed to take this thing apart. This is something which is really great. But well, the quality of it could be a little bit better, not really sure how durable it actually is, but I have to say um, I think it's quite okay. The only bad thing is that it really gets sometimes stuck on the rails and it's not really so smooth so probably it could have some kind of sliding pads on the inside so inlays probably or some kind of bearing because if you really want to move that back you see it's really hard to do even though all the mounts here are open so the screws are unscrewed I can really only um, yeah, slide it back with a lot of effort and this is not so cool well the height is adjustable also with those um, quick mounts so I just have to open them up and as you can see it slides down so you can have the camera here almost in plane with the rails or you can just move it up so you can move it up like six centimeters five centimeters and well then here you can see we have here in spirit level, so that's also really cool to see if um, it's in one plane, that's very nice. Then here we have a scale from zero up to plus three centimeters and minus three centimeters to slide the camera forth and back, because, well, you can also slide and adjust um, the camera plate. There is one plate on the camera, it's fixed with a screw, and this is some kind of a quick mount. So just like a normal screw, which you can unscrew with your bare hands, just um, unscrew it to open it, and yeah, screw it in to close it. It's actually really easy to do, and you get one of the camera plates, and actually it, it would be um, quite cool to order more of those plates, then you can just yeah, put on different cameras. 
All right, guys, um, then let's have a closer look at the front side. Now, guys, that's the front side of the stabilizer. And we have here some kind of T-mount system, as you can see. So here's another pipe. And here on the outer border, so on the outside, we have the hand grips. They are rubberized and they give you a really nice grip, actually. Everything here in blue, as you can see. For sure, you can move them in if you want to. Just unscrew the screw here, so open the quick mount, and then you can slide it in if you feel that it's better for you. Actually, for me, because I'm a quite huge person, I won't say fat right now, but well, um, for me, it's better to have it here on the outside. Could even be a little bit more, so it feels really good. And yeah, um, both grips are actually the same. Then now I want to remove them to show you that. So. They slide out here really smooth. Let's do it also here on this side. As you can see, here's some kind of um, hexagon socket. So um, if they're kind of loose, you just need to take an, an wrench and just um, yeah screw the screw here a little bit back in. Because um, the first time I used it, it was a little bit loose and it rotated. Okay, this is how um, yeah the hand grip looks like. So actually, the hand grip looks like pretty nice quality completely rubberized here and yeah feels also really good in my hands and let's get um, this pipe here out so here are two more of those quick mounts or how you call those things screws and you see you can take the thing completely apart without the need of any tool and yeah um, you see um, this one doesn't have any threads maybe on the inside but here are caps on the outside and there we go. Now we can also um, slide out that thing. So the T-mount. We just have to unscrew the screws here. And there we go. Also here on the right side. And now it comes out. So yeah, we have completely taken that thing apart. You can do that in like 30 seconds up to one minute. Depends on how fast you are. And then you can just yeah put it in a bag or whatever. Or maybe readjust it. And it's really easy to use. The threads, so also the materials used, they look quite good. Now everything here made out of aluminum, I guess, so it's not so heavy, but quite robust, as you can see. Also the block here looks very good, and I would say let's have a closer look at the block again. Now guys, here's the massive rail block, and yeah, it's made out of aluminum, and it's really big and heavy, as you can see. So let's have a closer look here at the bottom plate, and on the bottom plate we have here hexagon socket screws in each corner, so you could also take it apart if you want to. In the middle we have two threads, that's a quarter inch thread for normal camera tripods, and here we have a bigger one if you need that, it's a 3-8 thread if I'm right. Okay, then let's have a look here. At the rail clamps or rail mounts and yeah um, as I've said before you can adjust the height just imagine the rails are in there then you can slide the block here up and down so it's around um, three centimeters down three centimeters up so around six centimeters here okay then let's have a look here at the top so we have here in spirit level this um for instance could be quite useful to um, tell you if it's now in plane here with the table or yeah actually yeah, I've never used this we just use it to walk around and film something on the events. Then well, here at the top, as I've told before, there's some kind of scale and you can yeah just slide um, the camera plate forward and backwards and yeah, plus three and minus three centimeters. Okay, so the quality is actually really quite nice. Some really massive screw here for the quick mount and so far I have to say, looks like nice quality. Now let's put it back together and then I will show you how that thing looks like when it's finished. Actually, um, how we used it. So before I'll show you the whole thing in action, I want to show you here the camera plate. And the mounting plate here, it's made out of aluminum, looks like really decent quality. Has some kind of rail to slide forth and back in the rail block. And yeah, um, to mount it on your camera, you have to um, screw that screw in. And you can take a coin for that or a screwdriver, so actually that's the only thing where you need a tool to get that in. So don't over tighten it, it's actually some very hard material. Could probably break my um, thread here of the cheap battery grip. But you can also slide um, the plate now a little bit up and down and that's actually really cool to adjust. So now I'll just put it into the rail block and fix it with um, the spirit level screw you have seen before. All right, so the camera is now fixed in the rail block and yeah, it's, it's really good actually, very stable. As you can see, if I move the camera, the whole thing here moves and not 
not only the block here, but still, um, if I hold um, the, the stabilizer and if I try to move the camera, I can move it here a little bit. So you have to make sure that the screws here are really tight, and this is sometimes a little bit hard to do with just your hands. But well, um, usually if you just use it like this to film, you won't notice that, because it's just if I hold it and if I move the camera here. So probably um, the height adjustable screws here could be a little bit better, or probably a bigger thread and more area to um, press all things together but so far um, it's okay and I'm really happy with the quality of it. Oh yeah guys so we're now here at the end of this review and here comes my final conclusion about this camera stabilizer from China. So well, um, actually for the price it does a pretty good job. Here in my country the same things are way more expensive, 150 up to 200 euro and they look actually the same. I don't want to tell any names but just look up Amazon, you will find some very similar things, probably not so much more expensive but I've got it on sale very cheap with free shipping from China. And I really like that it comes with some kind of tripod plate so you could also use that block here for instance on a tripod and yeah, um, it holds my camera really stable as you can see. It's a very heavy camera, the EOS 70D with battery grip, big lens. So um, on the slide it was really wobbly, but here, nope, nothing. So that's very nice. Um, you can see right now, for instance, flow filming with the slider on, it was on the Comic Con, I guess, yeah. And um, it, it did actually a pretty good job. It's, it's way better than just filming with your hands only because then it's really shaky. For sure it's no steady cam. If you, if you move around and you have it on your shoulder, your shoulder is moving and you see the movements in the footage. So this is just just a stabilizer also for um, some kind of steady shots and if you really walk around and do some shots in motion you should probably get a, a steady cam. We're also waiting for our steady cam to arrive. Actually we ordered two from China and we want to do some kind of comparison probably with some higher end models. But also yeah the stabilizer for now really does the job if we are on some events. For $80 nice quality even though the rails they have some kind of sharp edge where they, where you just screw them together. So if you really try to slide the camera block here, so the rail block um, to the back, then get stuck there and you have to take everything apart. Also, um, the quick mounts, they could probably be a little bit better, but so far I have to say for the low price, it's a very nice quality. Alright guys, then um, thank you so much for watching this review. I really hope that you also join us in our future um, studio equipment reviews, because we have now a green screen, couple of soft boxes, and we want to grow with you, learn with you on how to improve our video quality. So thanks for watching guys have a nice day see you soon in the next one and bye bye